I was called yesterday concerning um, the bill that was tabled in the House of Assembly on Friday uh, concerning um, the bill the Liberations Act uh, 19, 1975 as it relates to essential services. So as I said to the reporter yesterday, instead of um, making three, different, three or four different comments, the BI press conference have a conversation about the legislation that has been tabled in the House of Assembly on, on Friday. Recognizing that the bill uh, also affects the workers at Marine and Ports, it also affects uh, public transportation, which is, is the buses. Um, and just know that uh, I, I was also given a document that I, I think, I believe it was, I'm not sure how far back it goes, uh, from um, the UK, where I guess they're having some challenges with transportation over there also. And I think David Cameron also said that they are considering a move to curve in the impact on the London tube strikes. Um, so maybe this comes as, as no surprise that now we have Bermuda as you know, uh, is a British dependent territory looking at making some amendments to the Labor Act 1975. To include, uh, I guess, will be all the, um, the parts of public transportation, the buses as well as the ferries, making them an essential service. I want to make the BIU's position crystal clear. We've had a conversation with the minister about making the buses an essential service. We've had a conversation with him at the LAC also. He mentioned it to the LAC. Uh, nothing was be, ha, had been decided uh, as, to, as to whether or not he was going to take it or not take it. So it did come as a surprise to me that the bill was tabled in the House of Assembly on Friday because I received the email from his PS, either Wednesday or Thursday, to say that the minister was taking this bill to the House. And as I said to Mr. Rochester, I'm concerned because uh, my understanding from either the LEC meetings, and uh, particularly the meetings that he had with uh, the BIU, because we've been having monthly meetings with the minister, we told him that we would not uh, consider the, the buses being an essential service. We can look at them maybe being an essential industry, but not an essential service. So uh, it did come as a surprise to me when I got the email from the PS saying that the minister was moving forward to now uh, table the legislation to make them an essential service. And I am a little bit confused because the World Gazette Daily, particularly Jonathan Bell, reports that, and this has got this in, in common, so I'm assuming this, this is the minister's comments, this is something that has been considered and we will continue to consider. Well, I think we're going past considering now if the bill has been tabled in the House uh, and it's probably going to be, um, you know, it may be discussed at either tomorrow's session of the House or Friday's session of the House, uh, and it's probably going to be, it's probably going to be passed tomorrow. Uh, that is very concerning uh, to the BIU, and, and let me tell you why it's very concerning to BIU. Some 40, almost 40 years ago, before the years next year, which the 1975 Labor Relations Act was created for essential services way back in 1975. And now here we are some 39 years later, uh, and the minister now wants to make an amendment to include uh, public transportation as essential services. When the Essential Service Act was created back then in 1975, the union saw it as taking away the rights of workers, uh, the right to, to, to strike and, and do those sort of things as, uh, without serving the 21 days notice of, of industrial acts, because that's what the Essential Service says now. And we see this as another in, impediment of taking away workers' rights, the right to, to strike. And the reason why uh, I think I'm telling you it's a right to strike, uh, I can't give you this entire document. This is a document uh, by the ILO the International Labor Organization, that is made up of governments, employers, and unions from all around the world. Uh, and it talks about the ILO principles concerning the right to strike. And it deals with public transportation in there. And it makes it crystal clear that they don't consider public transportation uh, as an essential service. On page number, page number 20, it makes it clear. In contrast, the committee has considered that in general, the, in general, the following do not constitute essential services. And it goes on to list uh, at least about maybe 20, about 20 areas. And one of those areas that they list is transport generally. It makes it crystal clear. So for the minister now to say that he wants to make the buses and the ferries an essential service, you got to know that it's very concerning to the BIU so much so that we've asked, uh, we're going to be having a meeting tomorrow at 11 o'clock with the members from Marina Ports and with the members from DPT to let them know exactly what is on the table, uh, where the minister is proposing that those two areas become an essential service.